I'd like you first to respond to the president and his claim that virtual learning has been terrible. What have you seen in the last several months about uh, the impact of virtual learning on children uh, and what we may see this fall? Well, I think the fact that there are digital learning solutions have been extremely helpful to kids and families and teachers too. Um, you know, we serve tens of millions of kids uh, across the country and around the world over the years with our uh, learning solutions. And we announced a program in early March, our uh, school continuity initiative, and we had over 80,000 schools and teachers and, and uh, districts reach out to us and we provided free codes to have their kids access all of our content. And we had, you know, 10 million hours of usage over that three month period of time. And the learning outcomes and the feedback were tremendous. So th there, there are solutions that can work. Uh, it's really important that they're designed specifically for that purpose. And that's what we've been doing for over a decade as a company. And as you mentioned, Doug, many school districts are trying to leverage private sector technology to try to supplement or in some cases supplant what they're doing in the classroom. How much of those partnerships are dependent on federal funding? What would happen to some of those partnerships and some of those school districts if it went away? Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's a big issue. Um, and, you know, we are in the business of helping educate children everywhere um, over a decade ago. Uh, we started building digital solutions that could reach kids anywhere they are, whether they're in school or at home. And you know, we have hundreds of thousands of teachers that use our digital uh, curriculum-based uh, products and platforms in their classrooms, but we also have millions and millions of families that use our products for supplemental learning that teachers embrace and even recommend. I know there are so many families who are trying to make this decision, which is in essence a Sophie's choice in just the next few weeks, whether to send their kids to in-person schooling just a couple days a week or to go full-time distance learning uh, remotely five days a week. What do you know about, about the effect of screen time on children, about the lack of socialization if they were to pursue that second option? I imagine that you're well-versed in a lot of this research, and is there a downside to doing that? Well, I think uh, the, the screen time issue is wh what is the quality of the content that is being engaged with? Uh, our content is highly interactive, which is a big difference than just passive uh, videos and, and other things that, that don't engage the child and help create decision making and uh, thought provoking uh, curriculum based content. So that's a, a, a very strong focus for us. We've been working on that for, like I said, over a decade. We have a personalized mastery learning system that we've patented that we'll be rolling out uh, uh, towards the end of this year and into the future that has shown unprecedented uh, results uh, in assessing and placing each child where they should be in each subject because kids are all over the boards uh, as far as where they are. I mean, per the nation's report card, two thirds of our kids entering fourth grade are below grade level across all subjects. And so there was a crisis before the crisis and that's what we were intending to solve. And now that we have this pandemic, uh, we are being looked to by millions and, and millions of families to you know, help with quality learning solutions that actually can positively impact their kids' learning trajectory. Hey, Doug, um, I mean, we, we've all got kids and we've all got decisions to make along with our school districts this fall. The president has repeatedly praised uh, telemedicine, for example, uh, calling it uh, very efficient. We've been talking about how efficient it's helped companies do business. What is it about education, do you think, that makes the president think it simply doesn't work? Yeah, I'm not certain. I mean, you just have to look at the research. Uh, we've done our own research, independent studies with world-class uh, you know, research organizations, and it, it all has to do with the quality of design of the learning activities, the sequencing, the uh, assessment and data collection, 
to ensure that they are studying precisely what they need to be studying uh, and not something that's above their level or below their level. So we have formulated a, a technology and a platform that assesses that digitally and keeps the child moving at their own pace. And if you have programs like that, uh, you really can't go wrong, but they're few and far between and, and uh, we're, we're just extremely pleased with the results that we're getting and, and we're doubling down on that. We've invested hundreds of millions of dollars mm -hmm. in our learning solutions and uh, I think okay. you just have to look at the research.